All right, I am back with some more Metal Gear Solid, but if you are some snake eater, and if you notice, the game does not look like it is, because as you can tell, disc one, this is the PS2 version, here to bring some special things that's going to happen. First of all, I'll show you the difference. Look at this. We don't get this special menu right here. Yes. We don't get the special menu with camouflage, which, uh, get the mummy, which is good for, I don't think you can get hurt with this. Yeah, I don't think you can get hurt with that. This one gives you infinite grenades, and as for the rest, I'm really not sure. Rainbow? I don't know what. Chameleon? Barack? Fest? Do-do-do? Rock? gonna guess that's water snake, north desert, swamp, flower, and Anubis. Yeah, the only ones I know that have special abilities is the mummy, which... Mummy and grenade are actually in the uh, 3DS version, which the mummy one helps you, I think, either not take any injuries as good or something like that, or you just don't take memory injuries at all. I can't remember what Mummy does exactly, but really beneficial with your health and the grenade is just like, lob as many grenades as you want because you got an infinite amount of them. And it's also a green camo, so yeah. Now, let us go into load game. Memory card 1. I th think it is this one right here. I'm almost positive it's this one. This is a load. This is a save from that I just downloaded off the game facts. So this should load up to where I was at in the PS3 version. And yeah, as you can tell, I'm Mr. Guy right here fighting scary crap. And yeah. I'm gonna kill you! Look at me, I'm starting to turn. Starting to turn. And why are the freaking controls all. Yeah, his hair turns as he starts killing things, it looks like. As well as his body. Ow, don't do that. That ain't nice. Ow! Jerk! Uh uh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, kill, kill, kill! Look at how bloody this thing is. Yeah, this guy has the inverted controls on. And then that happens. Now I'm freaking werewolf man that can do anything. Oh! Dang! Beat you up, beat you up. Yeah! And this keeps happening until... Okay, you gonna hit him, please? And... Oh! Look at that guy, man! Whoa! Oh! Dang, man! Look at this guy. Where's he at? Okay. Those remind me of Keyblades, actually. Isn't that weird? Is it just me, or do those remind me of Keyblade? Is those look so much like Keyblades? Look at them. And those guys look creepy. <laughs> So yeah, you're fighting vampires that are NYPD, by the looks of it. Or just police, in general. And... Jeez, man. Jeez. I'm telling you, th those keyblades look like freaking... Or those swords look like keyblades. near me. Alright. Oh, I don't know how long this lasts, though. It just keeps going on and on and on until it blacks out. Bam! Now, this game right here was actually supposed to be a demo of a game that they were thinking about making, but... 
Yeah, that this game sadly never happened, and that's the end of the demo. And then... Yeah, it was all a nightmare. All because you saved while you were in the cell. <laughs> Poor snake. <laughs> man, poor snake, man. Having freaking nightmares about vampires and that's a lot of food. And raw I don't I don't get this. Why is there so much of this? It feels like this was just a cheat file or something because you're given so much good food that is rotten. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to ask any questions. Now, if you talk to paramedic Snake, what happened? What do you think? Are you not feeling well? No, I'm feeling fine. I had the most amazing dream thanks to you. Ah, you didn't really dream about Drac. Don't say it. The last thing I need is a double feature. It was surreal. I was being attacked by a horde of weird human-like monsters. What's wrong with me? It must be a form of persecution complex, probably triggered by extreme stress. The external stimulus of the room is... I've got a different theory. I think it was caused by your pillow <laughs> talk. Talking about but Dracula. <laughs> I'm sorry, Snake. I didn't know you were that sensitive to it. I mean, who'd have thought, Drac? Uh, 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 sorry, that just slipped out, I swear. Come on, Snake, don't be mad at me. All right, I forgive you. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Snake, there must be a way out of there. Don't get discouraged. You'll find it. I intend to. So never talk to Snake about Dracula, because Snake hates Dracula, <laughs> or at least uh, the boss, Big Boss, not the boss, Big Boss. Now Singit, on the other hand, <laughs> no, you're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert. Shut up. That's not what I want to hear. Snake, you okay? Here we go. Yeah, I had a terrible dream. No kidding. What happened? Uh, I don't want to think about it. I was being attacked by monsters that look human, and I'm not even sure if I was really me. At least it was just a dream. It's all over when you wake up. True. When you think about it, the fact that you can imagine a situation worse than the one you're in now means life can't be all that bad. I sure hope so. Well, let me tell you about the absolute worst, most sickening nightmare I ever had. This isn't one for the kids. No, it's not. Okay, so there's this big pile of crap, right? <laughs> it's shaped like a giant tank, and it's walking around on two legs, going on a rampage and stomping on people and houses and stuff. And this giant turd is carrying the nastiest missiles you ever saw. Like, whenever it launches one of its turd missiles... <laughs> oh, my God. Whenever it hits people, trees, buildings, turns into shit. My hometown, my old school, my family, my girlfriend... Old man John, everything in that turd's path turned into shit. <laughs> That's pretty sick, man. <laughs> good thing it was just a dream, huh? Yes, that's a good thing. You feeling better now? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> good. Then let's get down to business. You see, Snake, people are just sacks of shit, and they're full of holes. <laughs> Fill them up with water, and it's got to come out from somewhere. Okay, maybe that was a bad example. What I'm trying to say is... No matter what the situation, there's always a way out. Don't throw in the towel yet. Clear your mind. Think it through. Assess the situation. You'll find a way to escape. Got it. Don't let my nightmare come true. Right. Okay, and what did we learn today? Never talk to Singit about having a nightmare, or he'll tell you about his pile of crap of a dream. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back after that. Uh, 
This is probably going to be just made into a separate video. As a little Easter egg, and as I blur out, yeah. And I'm probably, what I'm going to do is going to make this video, and then I'm also going to make, so after Metal Gear Solid 3 is done, I'm going to put the videos up that I'm about to make next, because they're not part of the game, so yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be right back.